You're watching Tag TV. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spell-binding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained today, the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Skyrim Zimik and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. The 400th birth anniversary of the 9th Sikh master Guru Dekh Bahadur is just around the corner and the celebrations had already begun in full swing. With music, martial arts, prayers and processions, the Sikh community seems to be all soaked in the festive spirit. Music was played, martial arts performed and prayers chanted as devotees gathered in Ludhiana city of northern Punjab state to begin their journey to mark the 400th birth anniversary of Guru Tegh Bahadur, also known as Hind Ki Chadar. A procession was also taken out by the devotees in which they paid their obeisance at all the historical shrines and places where Guru Tegh Bahadur had visited. It congregated at Delhi's Gurudwara Shishkanj Sahib, where the leader was believed to be executed by the Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb on November 24, 1675, as he stood up for the rights of Kashmiri Hindus. एक यात्रा का आयोजन किया गया जिसे पंजाब के विभिन्न गुरु स्थानों पर होते हुए वहां पर नगमस्तक होते हुए हम सब गुरुद्वारा चांदनी चौक शीशगंज साहब पहुंचे हैं जहां पर हिंद की चादर श्री गुरु तेग बहादुर साहब की शहादत हुई जो एक दुनिया के अंदर बहुत ही लामिसाल शहादत है दुनिया में आज तक जितनी भी शहादतें हुई सब लड़कर उन्होंने अपनी शहीदी प्राप्त की लेकिन गुरु तेग बहादुर साहब ने ऐसी एक शहादत दी जो पंजाब से चलकर विभिन्न विभिन्न जगहों पे होते हुए संगत को एक संदेश देते हुए खुद पहुंच के यहां अपनी शहादत दी शहीदी प्राप्त की मीन वाइल इन पंजाब अमृतसर सिटी Thousands of Sikh devotees participated in a religious procession, Nagar Kirtan and sang hymns. As a part of the procession that started from the Golden Temple, Guru Granth Sahib, the Sikh holy scripture, was brought out of the shrine in a flower-decked vehicle. The procession saw devotees perform Gatka, a Sikh martial art, and demonstrate sword fighting skills among others. 400 साल गुरु तेग बहादुर साहिब जी ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਪੁਰਬ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਨਗਰ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਕੱਟਿਆ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਦਿੱਲੀ ਰਵਾਨਾ ਹੋਣਾ ਸੋਨੀ ਪਾਲਕੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਤੋਂ ਜਾਈ ਗਈ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਦਿੱਲੀ ਤੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਆਏ ਹਾਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਤੇਗ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਜੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰੇ ਦੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਤੇ ਨਗਰ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਤੇ ਸ਼ਾਮਿਲ ਹੋਣ ਲਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਤੇਗ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਵਾਸ ਬੋਰਨ ਇਨ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤਸਰ ਇਨ April 1621 ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਨੇਮਡ ਤੇਗ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਵਿਚ ਮੀਨਸ ਮਾਈਟੀ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਸਪੋਰਟ by the sixth sikh leader guru har gobind for his courage in a battle against the moguls every year his birth anniversary is observed with great enthusiasm by the sikh community across the world india is a vast country with people of different class creed and cultures residing on its land this sheer variety tells us the story of unity and solidarity that the country stands up for. So celebrating this beautiful unification of different faiths along with propagating the message of peace and harmony, a day-long religious conference was organized in Srinagar city of Jammu and Kashmir. 
with an aim to fortify the bond of love and communal harmony among the people of Jammu and Kashmir, a religious conference was organized at the Sher A Kashmiri Convention Center in Srinagar city. Inaugurated by Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha, the conference urged religious leaders to spread the message of peace and brotherhood among the citizens of the Union territory. The Lieutenant Governor highlighted that Jammu and Kashmir is an ocean of spirituality and multicultural harmony has always been one of the key features of the territory. यहाँ की जमीन सदियों से मुझे लगता है कि सूफी दर्शन के लिए, सैविज्म के लिए, बौद्धिज्म के लिए, तथा मानवतावाद एवं सहिष्णुता की मिलीजुली संस्कृति के लिए ये पहचान जम्मू कश्मीर की रही है। सभी धर्मों के बीच, विभिन्न आस्थाओं के बीच एक ऐसा तारतम में हमेशा बना रहा है यहाँ कि प्रेम के अतिरिक्त � और मुझे लगता है कि आप सब आप संसार के किसी भी मज़हब को लें उस पर देखें उसको देखें तो दो ही रास्ते सब बताते हैं एक ध्यान का रास्ता है और दूसरा प्रेम का रास्ता है कोई ऐसा मज़हब मैंने नहीं पढ़ा है जो इसके अलावा कोई तीसरा रास्ता बताता है। the day-long conference witnessed participation of around 550 religious leaders, including Malvis and Muftis, with around 200 youngsters and 200 women. Representatives also discuss about the role of religion in the betterment of society and how it can build strong connection among people of different faiths. मैं समझे पीस एंड प्रॉस्पेरिटी कि कैसे एक नया कश्मीर बनाया जाए नया जम्मू कश्मीर बने इसीलिए कश्मीर जम्मू कश्मीर के सभी तब के सभी बैकग्राउंड के लोग एक साथ एक प्लेटफॉर्म पे आए हैं ताकि उसपे विचार भी मर्स किया जा सके और उस उस कदमों पे चल उस दिशा में आगे बढ़ा मकसद सिर्फ हमारा अमन होता जिस तरीके से सोने की चिड़िया थी वैसे ही रहे और अमन कायम रहे। Events like these not only spread a message of religious coexistence but also pave a way for building a peaceful and harmonious society. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. A man in India's southern Hyderabad city is running an 80-year-old shop by repairing antique radio sets. Mohammad Moyuddin, who gets work from not only all over India but from Saudi Arabia and the US as well, has been able to sustain the radio service center by repairing old antique radio sets despite people moving to other digital platforms. Today, the technology has chips and the motherboard. ये जो बोर्ड चेंज करने के ये वर्क में जो है कोई रिपेयरिंग नहीं होता उसमें जो है सिर्फ चेंजिंग होता ये चीज में जो है रिपेयरिंग होता है अभी भी रिपेयरिंग होता है अभी एक 50 साल के बाद में भी फिर कुछ है अब ये रेडियो है तकरीबन 80 इयर्स का ये अभी भी रिपेयर कर रहा हूं रिपेयर हो रहा है रिपेयर हो जाएगा पूरा कोई आप साउंड भी सुने इसका वैसे ये पुराने रेडियो जितने भी है ये रेडियो रखे हुए पुराने हैं और यहां ये ऑल ओवर इंडिया से सब जगह से बनने को आते हैं हमारे को सऊदी से भी आते हैं अमेरिका लंदन और से बनने जो एंटीक के पीस है द सर्विस सेंटर नेम्ड आफ्टर मोयुद्दीन्स फादर वाज सेट अप आफ्टर हिज फादर ब्रॉट अ रेडियो फ्रॉम जर्मनी इन 1948 एंड मैनेज्ड टू सेल इट With an aim to inculcate reading habit among youngsters and encourage community engagement at the same time, a public library has been opened lately at Bhubaneswar's Biju Patnaik Park. This forest park library is collaboration between Bhubaneswar Development Authority or BDA and the city-based Bakul Foundation. While BDA has provided the space and physical infrastructure required for setting up the library, Bakul has developed it into a creative library space with racks and books and attractive murals and it is managing the library as well. Though this library caters to people of all age groups, it pays more attention to students and children as they are all-time favorite series like Wimpy Kids, 
Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew, Annet Brighton, the Harry Potter series and many more are available here. Around 60 vintage cars rolled out on the roads of India's western Panjshir city at a vintage car rally. The event organized by Goa Vintage and Classic Vehicles Club saw car lovers gather in Beach City to see the vintage beauties on the road once again. This is one way that the cultural identity of a country is displayed. I think uh, you see the number of people here today on the roads. It's a great uh, occasion for a Sunday. People are enjoying themselves. You have to give it to the owners of these cars who take so much trouble to maintain it. I think they are maintaining their family heritage. So I think from that perspective, it's an extremely important event. The rally which was postponed due to the coronavirus lockdown is aimed at promoting restoration of vintage cars. India is a land where Sufism has not only flourished in its true spirit, but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. The unity of these myriad faiths can be very well witnessed at the Dargahs of Sufi saints. So today we take you to Dargah of Syed Nasir Hussain in New Delhi that has been serving as a bridge between different castes and communities. An epicenter of faiths, a place where brotherhood and bonhomie among various religions could be seen flourishing and prospering at its best. The Dargah of Sayyid Nasir Hussain Rahmatullah Alia, situated in the bustling lanes of New Delhi, is one such melange of diversities. Situated in Harinagar area of the national capital, the shrine witnesses a rush of devotees throughout the day. Whether one is Hindu, Muslim, Sikh or from any other community, the aroma of the shrine serenades them into cheerfulness and a belief of fulfillment ensues in them. Baba, these are our Bhujgur, they are about 700 years old. And they are coming to the world, they are coming to the world, they are coming to the world, they are coming to the world. They are a lot of old, and they are our Bhujgur. हमारा पूरा परिवार इनकी सेवा में लगा रहता है पूरा परिवार अब सेवा करते हैं सब आते हैं जाते हैं कवाली संग बाय दी लोकल आर्टिस्ट इन दी इवनिंग मेक्स दी होल एटमॉस्फेयर इवन मोर स्पिरिचुअल आर्ट दी दरगाह इट कॉम्स दी सेंसेस ऑफ दी डेविटीज हु कम फ्रॉम फार एंड वाइड टू पे देर ओबीसेंस टू दी सेंट Sweet rice is also distributed among devotees as holy sacrament. It is believed that saint fulfills the wishes of all and nobody returns empty-handed. Baba Ji ke baare mein bahut kuch suna hai. Main bhi pehli baar aayi hu Dargah mein. Meri beti ki tabiyat kharab ho gayi thi. Acha hua jo usko theek ho gaya. Main apna prasad chadane apni jo bhi man ki ichha thi wo puri hui meri. Main se isliye matha dekhne aayi thi. ताकि कल भी कुछ भी हो फिर भी मैं इनसे आऊँ इनका भरोसा रहे तो जो भी है मन की इच्छा सबकी पूरी होती है और मानना भी चाहिए क्योंकि भगवान जी हैं भगवान हर हर किसी ख्वाहिश पूरी करते हैं तो आई होप सबकी ख्वाहिशें पूरी हो जो भी दरगाह में आया हुआ है दुख में सुख में जो भी है उनकी सबकी मन इच्छा पूरी हो ज़्यादा चलाती हूँ मैं तब्र रुक लाती हूँ बैठती हूँ सब मेरी बहुत अच्छी बात है शुरू से शुरू से बहुत अच्छी है the message of peace and brotherhood comes out loud from these dargahs that have been acting as symbols of communal harmony for ages. Incorporating the waste material into something useful is the best way to deal with it. Moving on the same lines, a Kanpur based startup. Pool is recycling the floral waste to make incense sticks. The Ganges is India's holiest river and a lifeline for hundreds of millions living on its banks for generations. Deeply revered by millions, the river also remains as paradox 
as it is subjected to being polluted by sewage, chemicals, industrial, domestic and floral waste, which is offered by people to holy deities in temples. However, to minimize the problem, Ankit Agarwal, a young entrepreneur in Kanpur city of Uttar Pradesh, is collecting tons of floral waste, repurposing it into incense sticks and recyclable paper. Every year, more than half a billion Hindus go to temples to worship and we offer flowers to our gods. Flowers as a mode of offering the best that humanity can offer. But hardly does anyone think what happens to these flowers afterwards. Sadly, these sacred flowers are dumped into water bodies like the river Ganges to respect their sanctity. Every year, we Indians put in about 8 million tons of flowers in the Ganges. All the pesticides and insecticides that were used to grow these flowers mixes with the river water, making it highly toxic, which is one of the leading causes of hepatitis cholera across India and Bangladesh, affecting lives of more than 420 million people. Ultimately, this pest these pesticides mix with the groundwater, causing irreversible damage. Flowers are offered to Hindu devotees as a mark of purity and sacredness to the gods. This produces floral waste in large quantities, which is often left untreated. At Pool, Ankit's brainchild and factory, discarded flowers are collected from the temples and banks of Ganges River directly. Pesticides and chemicals are washed off from the flowers, after which the floral pulp is converted into incense sticks, incense cones and gulal, colored powders used in rituals. What makes this incense sticks and cones eco-friendly and unique are that all the products of pool are biodegradable and infused with holy basil, a trademark that Agarwal says helped establish pool's brand. came up with a unique packaging where we infuse the packaging material with seeds. For example, tulsi seeds or holy basil. So the concept was once you've used this product, simply sow the packaging and a tulsi plant would grow out of it. And the packaging really helped us establish our brand. Pool now employs over 100 workers, mostly women, as its factory in Kanpur and business has been growing steadily even during the pandemic. तो दुनिया फैलाती थी हम लोग साफ कर रहे थे ये सबसे बड़ी गर्व की बात है गंदगी वो लोग करेंगे सफाई हम लोग तो हम लोग सफाई ही कर रहे हैं By adopting such a creative attitude towards waste material and using it in a best possible manner will not just create clean India but also a better and beautiful country to live in Next, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our new edition, World in Focus. Super Nintendo World, located inside Universal Studios in Osaka city of Japan, has finally opened its door for visitors. Created by a Japanese multinational consumer electronics and video game company, Nintendo Co. Limited, this $550 million Mario team attraction was initially meant to open last summer, but its timeline got delayed due to the pandemic. The park is a real-world version of game designer and producer Shigeru Miyamoto's Mushroom Kingdom, in which visitors get to meet with chomping piranha plants, punchable coin blocks, and a flag top mount bean pole. Mario is a real-world いうことで楽しんでいただけるんじゃないかなというふうに思います。なので、それを実現するためにですね、まあ皆さん入っていただいたらわかるように、あの映画のあのゲームの世界がですね、完璧に出来上がっていて、本当に等身大のバックフラワ
The black soldier fly larvae, which are mostly used as pet food and fertilizer, can now also be used to extract high-quality biomaterials. At Singapore's first insect farm, Insecta, these maggots are being bred so that scientists can extract high-quality biomaterials from them that can be used in pharmaceutical as well as electronics. Located in the middle of city's residential area, the farm has hundreds of millions of larvae that eats four times their body weight every day. In one of the chambers, the adult flies lay eggs that will hatch to replace the larvae which have been used for extraction. Black soldier flies are renowned for their ability to consume food waste, any kind of food waste, and transform that into body mass really quickly. And you rarely find any animal that's able to do that as efficiently as them, right? Now, the second reason which is really important in urban Singapore is they're not a pest. They are not vectors of any disease, um, they're not a nuisance. So, that's really important especially when we are set up right next to the public library. Insecta is working in conjunction with the Agency of Science, Technology and Research and the company's technology which is still patent pending milks the numerous lucrative substances from the larvae in a single environmentally friendly process. One of the key products is melanin, which conducts electricity and can be used in semiconductors, supercapacitators or batteries. Another product, ketosin, has anti-inflammatory properties and is useful for cosmetics and pharmaceuticals. French contemporary artist JR recently unveiled his latest art installation on the facade of Strozzi Palace. Florence's elegant Renaissance building that gives an optical illusion of an open wound showing a black and white interior. The artist says that his work is a statement about the lack of accessibility to culture in the COVID era. I think the, you know, in art you raise questions, you don't really give answers, but through this wound, through this ferita, you can actually see the inside of the museum. And in moments like now, where everyone realize the need for culture. It's a, it's a way of reopening the museum, of like showing an open wound on museum so we can see what's happening inside. As the pandemic situation has created difficulty in getting opportunities to enjoy art in traditional spaces, this decision to create a work of art visible to everyone on the facade of Strozzi Palace was taken to encourage interaction with those passing by outside. Many people stop to take photographs of this beautiful art installation and feel happy to have something new to look at. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia.nin.com. Now we'll leave you with the colorful visuals of pre-holy celebrations, primarily in Mathura city of Uttar Pradesh. I'm your host Skyrim and it's goodbye from the entire production team.